Greetings, Phantom fans! Dan Herman from Hermes Press with Phantom Volume 13. Isn't that a neat cover? The Phantom is standing on top of a skull. And we all know why that's significant. I won't explain it. If you don't know, you should. Anyway, here is a copy, uh, an advanced copy of the book. Now, um, I'm going to go through it, but first, people have been wondering, you know, when is this book going to come out? When is Volume 14 going to come out? When are the Sundays, Volume 5, going to come out? And I'm going to tell you right now. First of all, um, issue uh, 13 of our complete uh, dailies and Sundays, and this is the dailies, um, is currently sitting uh, in a container in New York on a customs hold. Uh, we print our books in China, and two of our books, DC Comics Before Superman, which is a, uh, a book uh, written by uh, uh, Nikki Wheeler Nicholson, who's the uh, granddaughter of Malcolm Wheeler Nicholson, who started DC Comics. It was then called uh, National Allied uh, Periodicals. Um, uh, together with our Phantom book, uh, for some reason we're putting on customs hold and they're currently x-raying the uh, container that uh, these books are in uh, in New York City to find out if there's anything nefarious inside these books. And I assure everyone that there is nothing in here other than the most heroic of all heroes, the Phantom. And the other book has uh, stories that were done between 1935 and 1937 that were printed in DC Comics before Superman came along. Also, uh, very heroic, but not, not nefarious. But let's get to the Phantom, because that's why we're really here. Um, as with all of our books, this book has a dust jacket, which comes off, which is the same as the printed laminated cover to protect the actual book itself. So when you put it in your... Uh, bookcase uh, with all of your other Phantom uh, dailies. Uh, it doesn't get chipped or cracked or damaged. It has our end leaves. And most importantly, it has phenomenal reproductions of several really great Phantom stories. And as the essay points out, Wilson, Wilson McCoy, who is the artist, and of course Lee Falk wrote these, these stories, was, had really hit his stride. And the artwork is really, really very, very stunning. And, uh, you know, if you're a Phantom fan, you're going to love it. If you never heard of the Phantom and you read these books, you'd be very impressed because they're good adventure stories. Uh, the Phantom is the great hero um, in the comics. Forget about Batman, forget about Superman, you got the Phantom. And we have a number um, of uh, continuities or storylines in here. Uh, we have the wrestling tourney uh, aboard the SS Gay, uh, the slimming of Prince Tagon. Captain Kidder's Treasure, Dr. Axel and the Witchman, uh, Queen Sansamore and the Sixth Man, The Wisdom of Solomon, and U-Town. So we have uh, actually eight complete continuities in this book. Uh, a lot of material. Um, here's, for instance, one of these close-ups you can take a look at. Look how nicely that was done. Now, this book was based on press proofs, uh, which we uh, got uh, from Michigan State University. A shout out to Randy Scott and the Special Collections at Michigan State. Thank you very much, Michigan State University and Randy Scott, without whom uh, these books would not be possible with this type of quality. But once we get them, uh, they have to be redone uh, anyway so that all of the little uh, mistakes and the, uh, the ticks and the printing problems and the stuff that's shouldn't be there from the reproduction is all removed and everything's cleaned up and sharpened up and it looks perfect. These are actually more perfect than the proofs. And a responsibility that goes to our own Alyssa Fisher who does the Phantom series. So again, thank you Alyssa for doing a beautiful job. So uh, you will not be disappointed with this book. Now the Phantom 14, um, which um, is obviously the next book in the series, has been printed and is en route. And I will have uh, the advance of that within the next two or three weeks. And I will do another one of these videos showing you the book. And most, and, and more excitingly, uh, a lot of fans have wanted to know, well, what are you doing with the Sundays? Well, Volume 5 is done. Let me move this cursor away so you don't see it. Uh, volume 5 uh, of the Sundays is done. I'm at the printer as well. And as I, as, as I explained, and I'm going to explain it again, with the Sunday continuities, there's a problem because it's very hard to source out uh, half-page uh, color Sundays. And we've gone uh, to fans, and we've gone to uh, some of the, the really best collectors in the world and said, do you have the same problem in your collection where um, there aren't half, half, half pages available, there are only third pages? And by and large, everybody says, yeah, there's only a third page available. 
uh, to us, and that's all we have in our collections. And there's another problem is there are some uh, missing uh, strips in terms of the color tear sheets that are available. And remember, King Features did not keep color press proofs. So we have a complete set, and I'm talking complete set, of the black and white press proofs from the Sundays. And we used them in uh, Phantom Volume 4. And everybody understood that we didn't want to digitally color them because they wouldn't look right. And we can digitally color them, and uh, we can play around with them in Photoshop, and we can add a screen so that they more uh, closely resemble the originals. But there are certain parts of those Sundays that we don't have a reference for, so we would be um, not producing an archival reprint. We would be substituting our own judgment for the original. And quite frankly, the black and white press proofs are phenomenal and, and, are, and, and look like the original drawings, only more perfect. Consequently, uh, it was my decision to run with those black and white press proofs uh, in substitution for the material we didn't have. Hence, that's why you have black and white material. It's not because uh, we forgot. It's because we made that decision because we want to bring fans the complete Phantom Sundays. The good news is, as we move forward toward the, to the uh, uh, Siberia years, we have all the color material. Uh, so by the time we hit Siberia, everything will be in color. And by next year, we'll be premiering the first uh, Siberia Phantom. Uh, and we're going to have a special limited edition, but more about that later. But anyway, fans, uh, Phantom 13 will be available um, within the next week to two weeks. You'll be able to buy it from Hermes Press. You'll be able to buy it from your local comic book store. You'll be able to buy it on Amazon.com. And we're moving these books forward. Um, by the end of this year, you will have volumes 12, 13, and 14. Uh, Sunday's Volume 4 and Sunday's Volume 5. It's a lot of Phantom material. And of course, don't forget the Avon Phantom. I think we've come out with uh, eight uh, issues of the Avon Phantom. And as I said before, you got to buy them. I can't keep printing them unless the sales are consistent enough to pay the printing costs. And we're doing okay because fans appreciate that and because the word has gotten out amongst Phantom fans that we need your support to continue printing those. And uh, last but not least, I think I've said this before, by the end of the year, the, uh, the President Kennedy's mission will be out the complete continuity, the whole story as a graphic novel, uh, which will be very nice. It's being solicited in previews, I believe, next month. That's all for now, Phantom fans. Bye-bye.